I think you have to be willing to look pretty deeply into, uh, into those studies and question how valid are the results. And, and why do I say that? Uh, I would suspect, I can't prove this, but I would suspect that the majority of animals that are not spayed or neutered uh, are not spayed or neutered, in the United States at least, are not spayed or neutered because the owners can't afford to spay or neuter them. What percentage of those animals would ever show up at a referral hospital like UC Davis because their dog is limping or because their dog has, has a, uh, a small tumor? You know, so there's a select population that's, that's examined in those studies, which I think at least put a question mark on the validity of the studies. That doesn't mean that there, there can't be any truth to them. And I think the veterinarian has to have a good heart-to-heart -heart conversation with an owner and uh, find out uh, what the use of the dog is, uh, how the dog is, is managed in the home. Does it run free? Does it, how much access does it have to the outside? Uh, and, and involve the owner in the decision of when to spay or neuter it.